right? But next, I will open the uh, now uh, mic format here. It's the XML file. It's moving here. So, Mike, I want to, uh, uh, want to explain the uh, what is Mike. I was read as it is. A uh, standard, standardized language for encoding and communicating high fidelity information about malware based upon based up malware based upon attributes such as behavior, artifacts, and attack patterns. So, why is there is you know we saw the uh, the naming convention on, at first on first day, right? It just it. it Vendors come with all, you know, its own name. So, you know, sometimes, you know, analysis between among them may be, you know, confused. So what are you talking about? This sample or that sample? But many times, if they talk as a some standardized way, basically, hey, for, is there a, for the persistent, it is using these this, this techniques, you know, and when there is some network activities, you know, there is this kind of activity. So if there is a, those, you know, those information is shared in some structured way, then it's going to be much easier to talk about, hey, we are talking about the same sample, or we are talking about the same group of the, uh, you know, malware samples. So Mike is uh, for uh, those uh, purpose. And currently, Cuckoo Sandbox generated Mike uh, result, and as we will uh, see it briefly. And there is a, uh, another bit uh, there's a translators for actually uh, Adobe's uh, report and the threat track and threat export. So you need to just kind of translate. Uh, you have need uh, once you have the uh, the sandbox result, you need to use a translator, then generate the uh, mic format. Right. So I mentioned about this one at the beginning and probably a couple of times. It is extremely hard to actually find to some malware that has some uh, uh, some certain attributes, basically, because you need to get, uh, there's no way to actually I can search my malware based on some attributes. So if you know, the malware analysis and the uh, sandbox generate, you know, generate this mic format, then you know, later on there should, can be uh, some, you know, the uh, infrastructure, we can just say, well, right, I'm looking for this malware, for the attribute, for you know, this uh, specific attribute, basically, is it key logger? Is it key logger? And is it using the uh, same Windows hook ES for that part in the purpose? So then, you know, I should be, and hopefully I can find it you know, that way. So, anyway, this is uh, what mine is. All right, now let's look at uh, the XML file. Do you have this uh, mic result all open? Actually, uh, all right. So it looks like Internet Explorer is not showing it in the, the way that I want to see. Let me quick check if I have Firefox. And I do not have probably the Firefox. Probably not. Right, that's fine. So since you have the uh, Firefox open, right? For you, if you click like here, no, actually it works that way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I was okay. So when you click like in, when you see here plus and the minus sign here, so ha have you seen the XML file before? So it is like a, looks like HTML, very similar to HTML. However, uh, the XML case is, it has this, like a more name name. Like each tag means something, not just like a HTML folder usually just for the presentation. It has more mini, meaningful grouping. So here, like I know if it's my package, I will expand it, expand it. Can you see expand it? Do you see it? You can expand and then collapse here. On the, uh, pressing it here, right? Then you can see uh, inside like the my package, there is a cybox. Cybox is another uh, minor uh, lab uh, standard for the like, cyber observables. So if uh, either malware or in general configuration, if there is some you know a concrete observable object, one example uh, can be a registry key. It can be all grouped by uh, grouped and represented by observable uh, cyber cybox uh, notation, basically cybox notation. Let's say cybox language, something like that here, 
right? Where it says, okay, there's a, there's a file, then, you know, there is, this is a hash, you know, value, and some, uh, like this. Anyway, just to show you how uh, the uh, my report it looks like, report looks like, all right? And now, now let's open JSON. Did you open the JSON file? I am, since I have the, um, uh, I will use the, uh, just notepad like this. Open. I will open it. Maybe work pad. Okay, this is okay for me. But you see, it's kind of you know. So again, JSON actually is not for the uh, uh, users. It is for the uh, normally some you know uh, subsystem for the certain system. Usually, it's good for you know for like a database to digest because it has a certain text format. But here. One uh, thing that you need to actually want to look at, uh, why you want, uh, if you're using the cocoa box, why you still maybe want to look at this one is because I will go back to the uh, HTML here, uh, the uh, report, and it says, for example, files. It, uh, so for now, it just shows as a PI agent. This is it. But I don't know what it means, right? From the, by looking at the HTML, does that mean is it created, is it deleted, or is it modified, right? Just HTML just does not have that information as it is. But somebody can later on can improve it because, as I mentioned, Cookbox is open source, so you know people can contribute to the uh, uh, project. So let's see. For example, once the Windows system 32 PI driver, I just copied it here, Control C, and I move to left one. Okay, then I just then I move to here and I search it. Right? Move here and try driver. Right, here, right? It has just more detailed information. And Okay, there's a file, and what happened to the file, right? Like it's dropped, right? So, Cuckoo has all this information in more raw format, but just in a report.html, which have the, the uh, Cuckoo module that is making this HTML report is not interpreting this you know, detailed information, right? Any question? So, all right. So this is just look on how the report looks like. Now I want to move to the uh, sample. We are going to actually analyze now. How about now? Let's close the uh, text file, and then your Firefox. You have probably Firefox open, right? So please just close it. 